What's up everyone, it's Ab from Life of Adam and today I'm back with a brand new lifeguarding tip video for you guys. Now one of my earliest lifeguard videos, it's actually one of my biggest videos, was on the brick dive pretest when you take the lifeguarding course. I made this video a long time ago but when I started this channel so today I'm actually going to revisit that video and talk about it in 2022. Are there any changes? What are my tips for passing it? And how to relax your nerves when approaching this pretest. So if you guys are new to the channel, make a bunch of lifeguarding videos about the pretest, about the course, basically everything you guys you know about lifeguarding so definitely consider subscribing and liking the video if you're new to the channel now when talking about the brick dive one of the first things you think about is how much does it weigh am i going to be strong enough am i going to be able to grip it what happens if i don't find it what happens if i'm at the bottom of the pool and i need to go back up for air these are a bunch of questions that people have and i'm just going to run through all of them and give you very concise and straightforward answers brick itself it's very light typically they'll use a 10 pound brick i've heard of other places using closer to 20 pounds but it does not matter when you're in the water when you grab the brick the most important thing you have to focus on is making sure you have a good grip of it because if it slips out of your hands then you have to go back down and get it so what I recommend you do is really focus when you grab the brick hit your fingers to really grip it so that you don't have to waste more time underwater when I took the lifeguarding course I was not really in shape I wasn't very strong I was just tall and lanky and I had no issues I've had friends who were also lifeguards who were very petite and when they did it they had no issues just make sure you have good grip of it and you should be be absolutely fine now another thing of the brick dive one of the most important points I can make for you guys is to make sure you locate the brick before you submerge one of the worst things you can do is go underwater you're opening your eyes and you can't find it let's say the brick is on one of those black lines at the bottom of the pool and you can't see it and that's when you start to panic and your heart rate goes high and you lose your breath so you don't want any of that just swim on top of it locate it take your time and then submerge and grab it. When you approach the brick in the first place, I recommend you go at a medium pace. Specifically, you have a minute and 40 seconds, around two minutes to do this. I guarantee you it's not gonna take you nearly as long to do that, but just make sure you go at a medium pace so that you're not too slow where you start to worry about time, but also you're not exhausted by the time you get there because you have to go down, get it, and you have to kick and swim with it on your back. So I recommend you do a good breast stroke because you don't get as tired or just do a very light front crawl to get there. You find the brick with your eyes, you swim above it, and you go straight down. When it comes to the surface dive, a lot of people ask, should I go head first or should I go feet first? Personal preference, I think for mine, I went head first. The only thing I don't really like about that is because your ears start to pop. But if you're experienced with going feet first, you can do that. Just make sure you blow air out of your nose, which will help you sink to the bottom of the pool. Now, when you're at the bottom of the pool, I already talked about gripping the brick. What you want to do is you want to grab the brick and do a light push off off the bottom. A lot of instructors will tell you, do not push off the bottom, but they can't see you all the way down at the bottom. So they're not gonna be able to tell. But so just do a light push off to help give you some momentum. And you want to hold the brick in front of your chest. Now, when you get up to the surface, what you want to do is keep the brick secure and lean back. This will help you kick on your back. You can do flutter kicks or you can do breaststroke kick, personal preference, but just make sure you keep the brick out of the water. So it's going to kind of be like a weird motion, kind of pressing with your pecs and kind of like holding the brick with your forearms. You want to make sure it's out of the water because it's like a victim. You don't want its head underwater and not being able to breathe, which is, isn't really a big deal because like I said, it's around 10 pounds. So five pounds per arm, you'll have no problem problems supporting that kind of weight. So then you just swim back to where you started and the instructor will be give you the thumbs up and then you're done just like that. So what I recommend you go first, you wanna be in attack mode, you wanna have a lot of confidence because you don't wanna go right after someone who's really good at swimming, is like an absolute swim team Olympian type swimmer. It's not the best look, it's just like presenting in school. You don't wanna do your presentation right after an amazing presentation. You wanna go first to set the tone. So I recommend you go first, if not, not the end of the world, just do your thing, trust your instincts and you should be fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want more lifeguard pretest videos like this in 2020, to the more new version comment down below like this video and i'll see you guys in the next upload thanks so much for watching peace out